So Dan, what do you think of those performances? I thought it was I thought it was really positive. Uh, first half, I thought we played some great football, um, dominated possession, got into our patterns, created some chances, got the ball into some really dangerous areas. I thought we gelled as a team really well. You know, coming together quite quickly in possession. I thought it was very good. We talk about being controlled possession and having courage to play in the areas um, and across the board from from Ollie. Moving through the thirds, I thought it was really, really good. Out of possession, I thought we were awesome. So uh, aggressive, controlled, really put China under a lot of pressure every time they had the ball and we won it back really, really quickly. And, you know, it's just a shame we didn't get the goal. Um, you know, but those, those moments are coming. And obviously then the second half, you know, the red card changes the game and it becomes really difficult for us. Uh, but... I think even with 10 men, we had a few patches where we strung some good passes together uh, and then showed a lot of resilience and a lot of good team spirit and hard work to, to not lose the game. It's a game we wanted to win, but um, you know when you play with 10 men for 30 odd minutes, more than 30 minutes, after the week we've had with people traveling across the world, you know, I thought it was unbelievable team spirit and resilience to, to stay there. And, we're just still looking for that one moment to, to score our goals. And Oli, how about you? How did you find today's game? Yeah, I think base summed it up pretty well. And plenty of positives to take from it. Um, the way we controlled position and built up through the thirds. Um, the way we continued to be brave on the ball and take some risks that when you're down to 10 men, you probably you know, normally off, off or often consider not taking. Um, and cut them open a couple of times beautifully, even with 10 men. Um, you know, when... Joe Bell, Eli, Clay and Roos got on the half turn and playing forward. Um, we looked devastating and obviously when you, you're a man down you've got one less player for the final product. But in the first half um, it was very much similar. Um, I thought the press uh, in, in the loss of possession was fantastic. Really aggressive, turned over the ball in high areas, created a couple of chances from it. and It's really positive signs that the goals are coming and someone's going to be on the wrong end of a trouncing. We'll, we'll put four or five past someone soon. Um, so we just got to look forward to that day, but um, plenty of positives to take. And obviously holding onto a clean sheet with 10 men is always pleasing as well. Awesome. Well, uh, over the course questions. Um, I'll leave just off of the red card, the communi communication breakdown. I guess, um, you know, how did you sort of see that unfold? Have you had a chance to talk to Tommy since you got the pitch? Yeah, I've spoken to him a couple of times. Um, it's probably a three-way thing. Um, and then those passes a little bit under hit where it, it's either, it could be Tommy's or, or my ball. And then Tommy and I have both made the same decision. Um, he's chosen to leave it for me and I've chosen to leave it, leave it for him. And, you know, really disappointing um, because obviously it's Tommy's 50th game. And, uh, on that occasion, we didn't, didn't want him seeing red. And, um, yeah, it, it turned the tide and, and the momentum of the game swung. But, yeah, it's something that we'll obviously all review, particularly um, the three on the left side there, myself and Andrew and Tommy. But... Um, yeah, I think I put my hand up there. I can see what's going on. Um, my thought process was receive the ball off Tommy and then start a counter-attack through the other side. So we were obviously just on, on a different page. Um, apart from that, yeah, you made a number of saves before and after that. You haven't kept a lot of clean sheets at club level this summer. Um, how good did it feel when you to come off now and you managed to, I guess, salvage a draw? Yeah, really good. Obviously, that's what I set out there to do. Um, I set out there to keep clean sheets and as a defensive unit, we're doing that, but as both base touched on, we're also there to start, um, you know, our build-up. Um, and you see that a lot. Tommy, uh, Payne, Nando are crucial to when we turn position over in our third, how quickly can we hurt them by shifting it? Um, that's an important part of what, the way we play, so clean sheet's very pleasing. Um, it, it helps to... It goes a long way to winning matches when you keep clean sheets because, we, like I said before, we're going to keep scoring goals eventually. Um, and... Yeah, it's, 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 it's pleasing. Like you said, I haven't had a lot of, of late, but very different game. I think we defend very differently as well, so less open. Darren, just on Chris Wood, what ended up rolling him out, and is he, what, what's happening with him? Is he going to be your man all around him? So he's another player that we're, we're monitoring all the time. You know, obviously he's a key player for us, um, and he's a goal scorer, and they're the type of players that we need right now. Um, so yeah, right now we, we're having to monitor him constantly um, and communications with his club through our medical department so yeah we'll, we'll wait and see. Is he going to travel with the team to anything? Yes. Um, and just on sort of I guess you know you're bringing back to the bench Joe Bell and Eli Hamlin pretty much 
pretty much yeah. just before the route came out. We had other guys who, you know, couldn't come on. Um, how pleased were you about the way the team sort of responded? And I guess you did make that call to sort of have faith in Eli and play as 10s mm. and mm. keep a bit of an attacking threat, threat going. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I am. I'm super proud of the team. You know, I, I really think the way we played, the tempo, the aggression, um, and how positive we were in and out of possession. I think, for, you know, for 60 minutes before the red card, because it did change the momentum. But before that, I think everybody watching would have been really proud to watch that team play and say, that's our team. That's our team that are really working hard to be successful and positive for New Zealand. It's a, it's a really exciting way to play. You know, we, we, we don't, we take risks in possession, but think about it, how we defend, where we're, we're throwing players forward and, and Callum's pressing the right up high and Tim Payne's coming right round. So yeah, it's a really positive way of playing. Um, we play with no fear, we play with courage. You know, the, the, and, and then obviously the, the red card did swing the momentum. And, and, but it gave us a chance to almost show something different to us. What we did show was a lot of character, a lot of resilience, and that culture that we talk about a lot came through. And the team spirit, for much as the players that were digging deep to play 90 minutes, you know, but the players that have come on and they're having to get into the game, you know, when it's become really difficult for us, you know, and then obviously we've got a, a top class keeper that, you know, is there for us when we need him. So I'm very proud of the boys. It's, it's a game that we all wanted to win, but you know, the football throws up different challenges and, and this one threw up a different challenge today. Well, one, can we break down a, a pretty organized, tough team you know, that were in a defensive block and um, sort of looking to hit us on the counter and then playing with 10 men, which is always difficult in, in world football. But like I say, I think we, we still showed glimpses with 10 men of, of being positive. We tried to be positive, but yeah, it does become difficult. And it was a shame that for all of our players that have traveled across the world in the last three days, two, two three days, to then be put in a position where they're having to work even harder than you know, they were sort of with 11 men it was, it was difficult. So it's great character. Uh, yeah, I'm super proud. Does anyone else have any questions? Yeah. on their performance. Yeah, I mean, they're a very organized team. Um, they, you know, I thought we dominated possession and we dominated the game, um, but they stayed in the game. You know, they didn't concede. So they're pretty, pretty strong in their defensive structure, you know, and they've got some good players on, on the counter attack, which got some quick players you know, and they have some threats. So yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're a decent team. And then obviously when they played with 11 against 10, you know, they started to have more possession and actually probably then started to show some of their possession. Um, but I thought really until the red card, we didn't really give them any chance to really go and play and string a lot of passes together just because of our tempo and our pressing uh, and our just constant aggressive uh, way of defending. Um, you said yesterday that Chris trained on Tuesday. Um, how did he go yesterday? I guess how good was he to miss out? I think this is like even going back to twenty seventeen when he had that injury. Yeah, you know, he's had a run of home matches where he hasn't been able to yeah. perform to the standards he wants. Yeah, I mean he's he's such a proud person. You know, he wants to be here and play in front of the crowd today, and he wants to score goals. You know, we know about the goal scoring run, which you know we 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 want to put right, and he's a goal scorer. So yeah, it's really dis he was really disappointed that he couldn't play today. Uh, and again, it's a, it's a difficult injury that we're having to monitor all the time. And obviously, um, it's not one, it's not a player that you take risks with. Um, just on, I guess, 16 minutes when it was 11 be 11, um, in the first half especially, do you think there could have been a bit more movement? Yeah, you know, I guess with the sixes especially, and it felt like at times maybe, you know, just ending up with Tim is sort of looking long as they created about it. Like, was there a bit more you could have seen? Um, I mean, We'll review it and we'll have a look. My, my memory right now is that I think Roosh got on the ball quite a lot and Marco actually was a little bit higher than Roosh and, and they connected quite a lot. We definitely wanted them and we talked at half time about getting turned and face forward as much as they can. And I thought we started to do that pretty well. Um, and like I say, the, the, the way that China defend is pretty compact centrally. So actually I thought both Rufa and Marco Staminich showed real courage to, to stay in that zone and to not come out to get a touch. 
you know, because, uh, you know, it would have been easy for them to come out of the midfield area to get a touch of the ball. So they stayed in there and it actually kept China quite compact and, and enabled us to get Tim Payne out, to get Nando out, to get Callan Elliott, for Tim to play Costa in on goal, Max Matter almost in on goal. So we had a lot of really close moments um, that on another day may have resulted in, in one, two, three goals. You know, some of our crosses was good. So I think there's definitely a... a, a an attitude to understanding that we want to put the ball into dangerous areas to score goals. Um, but yeah, you, you miss Chris Wood. He's a Premier League goal scorer. Um, I was going to say, I've forgotten. I mean, they've got some, they've got some good defenders, you know, that want a lot of balls in the air, um, strong defended well, cleared their areas. Uh, I can't think of the numbers, but they have some good players there. And then I think they've got a couple of good players that are, that are really quick on the counter-attack and, and you know, skillful players. So yeah, the China showed that they're a good team. I think they showed that they're quite organised and disciplined as a team. Uh, and that's the challenge for us to, to break that down. And I thought, again, I thought for a long time, we did a really good job of that. And we just need that final piece of the jigsaw to, to score our goals. Darren, you're familiar with this um, six match now, goals run, and the number of sort of moments where it's been one pass away from being a goal yeah. in the yeah. um, Matt Dowler in the fifth minute. Um, yeah. It's probably going to join that to the list of opportunities when you could have yeah. had two men in the box. And I guess, yeah. you know, do you think players that you know, watching these clips and sort of seeing those moments and recognising that they do have those chances? I know it's not that simple. I, I mean, again, it's, it's not something that we try to really keep talking about. It's, it's probably probably the media that keep talking about it, which I understand because it's factual. Um, Ollie said earlier, we, we create chances. You know, every game we've played, if you go back to Peru, Oman, Costa Rica, we've created a lot of chances. Um, and it's, is it the hardest thing in football to score a goal? Some, for some players, it becomes a little bit easier, but... You know, all we can do is keep being positive, keep creating the chances. And, and like Ollie said, I think the goals are just going to come at some stage. In the last year and a half, this team has scored a lot of goals. You know, when you go back 18 months in that period, we've scored a lot of goals. Um, we're just on that little run where it's just not quite happening. But we've played against some big teams. Costa Rica, Australia went to the World Cup, you know, Peru, a good team. So we're playing against some big teams. And I feel like we would have scored goals today had we not conceded or not gone down to 10 men. So we could be talking about a different result today. And in football, sometimes decisions and moments in games, or well, moments do change games. Uh, and unfortunately, that the red card sort of changed a potential percentage of scoring goals tonight. Uh, but until then, it was, it was really positive. At half time, all we were talking about is, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Nobody was saying, oh, we haven't scored a goal. Everyone was really positive going, we're, we're doing this, we're doing that, we're doing that, and it's coming, the result's coming. Just one last one from me. Um, just on Simon Elliott and his role mm -hmm. that he's played this week, uh, so you were talking after the mm -hmm. match, he's sort of been your sort of right hand guy, it seems. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got what you wanted out of him as a sort of a, a pretty high profile former player coming into the club. Yep. Yep, Simon's great. He's, he's fitted straight into the environment. He's great around the players. You know, he, he obviously holds a lot of mana and respect amongst the group from what he's done. Uh, but he's a very knowledgeable guy. Uh, good coach. And, you, you know, and it's been great for me. You know, it's been awesome having his expertise and his experience. Um, you know, him and Rory, you know, and Mossy, everybody's added to the environment. But, yeah, Simon's, Simon's been really good, fitted in really well and been a real help. Oh, yeah, we can't have you met him before this week, but what, what have you sort of been able to see from having a player like that, and I guess like Mossy, who's a bit new in the environment, come in? Yeah, I think it's important to have Kiwis who have been there and done that in, in, in the environment, and um, to pick their brains is obviously um, something that is extremely valuable to, to us players, especially the younger ones, um, but both of them have had a really positive impact. I'm a, I'm a less is more kind of player. Um, I'll be honest, I don't sit there and have thousands of notes. Um, but I, what, what has pleased me so far about their input is, is everything they say has, has value. And it, it's nice to just have these little messages that um, have carried weight um, that, that, are, um, you know, that I can just carry into the game and throughout the week. And um, you know, I think the set pieces we got spot on tonight, which is 
the defensive set pieces, which is Simon's role. And then obviously we get a clean sheet, um, so Moss is going to be happy. So I think both uh, areas that those two two lads have contributed to the group will help cover tonight. So. Cool. Okay, we'll call it there. Thank you very much.